everybody. Today I want to talk about the complete tutorial how to install Windows XP on a computer system. And it's going to be a reinstall of Windows XP on your Toshiba cell like laptop computer. And now it's going to get started. <clears throat> First of all, um, here's the flash drive. I have to pull it out of the machine because um, Windows still got to corrupt the sword corner to be start. So um, I got access to the flash drive to get stuff off of it. And first thing first, um, with many Toshibas, it just says, that's an article computer is another the two. So um, so I'm sorry about install Windows. You begin in HQ uh, using uh, uh, driver's folder. Well, let me go show you something else. Um, here, let me guys show you something else. Um, here's the hard drive for the Dell. But this thing had to, had to it's called a local disk C because it has to do it. This game included at the, this local disk G. And it is also including, this is a folder called drivers. You have drivers for touchpad, modem, LAN, display chipset, audio, drivers driver. Okay, we'll go ahead and copy this driver right here. We're getting there. Getting there. Come on. That's it. <laughs> and some other stuff to do. Uh, what? Uh, we'll go ahead and copy the file right here. Now it's done. Now look at all these files right here. <clears throat> Okay, next up we have to go ahead and back it out those files, folders, and everything that's supposed to uh, personal information to YouTube. Okay, all files are then backed up. You get the drivers on file. And next step will be to uh, go ahead and install Windows XP. I'm going to let me install. I've all stuck the Windows XP CD in the CD drive. I'm going to want to start a computer. And of course, it said it's not supposed to it. Uh, they say that from at 12, but sometimes, or boot the file settings of this thing, of course, it's not supposed to do it. It has to do it. Uh, majority says that at 12 going to be, uh, bio studies. Of course, if it's going to hit at 12, then we'll go here and select the CD-ROM device. We'll go ahead and rest the key, remove from CD. Today you'll see this uh, blue screen. This is called the text setup for XP. You know, you know Windows XP. And of course, Windows Vista are seven, eight, and ten on here because I don't know how it's supposed to in this virtual hard drive. Set yourself up thing how to do it. Sometimes we just have to make sure this thing uh, using just a hard drive. Make sure you use your uh, hunter relations such as D, E, and F. Used to be. Extending DOS partitions, which is number one. I don't know, it says, I have to see it. And finally, get the user information you see. I use this you know, hard drive. Well, this thing had to do like that. And, um, of course, it always was. It has to sit to a hard drive. Just to have to make sure that this thing, I would just if this thing had to do it right now. Um, I can always this because. I was supposed to have to, have to see it. Finally, you got the user information you see. And, um, I just have to make sure for this thing. Uh, it's got the, uh, set up this loading files. There's an always this. I used to run Windows 2000 on this. Uh, this thing had to do with like that. And all these uh, set of information you'll see, like Ulogix and more. Dell Hewlett Packard and much, much more. But this thing had to do about that. It's about Windows XP. It's the latest thing about the information from Microsoft Corporation. And this thing I was supposed to do it. Uh -huh. oh, I'm just going to do all drivers.
Okay, now it says Windows XP Home Edition Setup. And of course, it says Professional. You were setting up to say as uh, Windows XP Professional Setup. We'll hit Enter. Press that's eight device agreement license terms. Acknowledge this of this. And of course, and of course, they have to do it like that because I was just not supposed to. It <laughs> sometimes they have to have to do it, and um, the word says repair it. And this requires says don't repair it. Then of course, they have to press the escape key. And look at all these partitions, which is number one. But you know, all this doesn't have to see it that way. But yeah, uh, this thing has to like that. But right now, we're going to delete this partition right now. We're going to hit D. We're going to hit Enter. And hit L. There we go. And of course, it's not supposed to. And, um, we'll create the partition space. And we're going to hit Enter. We're going to hit the anti FS file system. And this is a well. And we're going to do a quick setup. And that's let's do it. We're going to do a format the system right now. And um like you will see, because I was supposed to it takes a little bit longer because I was just supposed to it have to see that way. But finally, you get the user information you'll see and you the high speed performance. But then always the service and have to do it like that. And finally they got the user information you see used to run Windows 98 on here. And um, you want to see it that way because I'll take it a little bit longer because in this drive, it says set up this formatting. Alright, we'll continue in a moment. We're going to set up this for now formatting. So, you're right back, guys. Alright, set up this and finishing formatting. Now, we're going to check the C drive and copy the files. Windows XP Home Edition, which is 100% how to do a hard drive. Simplified, you have the best you have to boost to it. Sometimes it always says, you know, you're nostalgic since October 2001. But now we're going to upgrade a Service Pack 2 on here, which is obviously not supposed to do it in this symmetrical series. We we'll just have to make sure that this thing, I used to install drivers, and now we to see it in that. I can always just and has to see what has to post to it. Of course, Norse, um, which it always says has to see that way. And, um, this thing have to do it like that. It takes a little bit of moments to go. And, um, we just have to make sure for this thing, they got the driver cab on this. There we are. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Says 12 percent that this Windows XP is used to run Windows 2000 on you. So you can always just and have to see it, but then it takes a little bit longer to go and as opposed to it. Okay, I'll be right back and see what to check this copy the file right now. Okay, we're back. Uh, that was just that setup file is completed. Yeah, so first, um. Let me go ahead and restart the computer. I have to show you the information files. Uh, here we go. Which Windows XP Home Edition get this user for information used to see? Um, they're supposed to use the hard drive, such as an always system. I'm supposed to it. Anyway, such as there's Windows XP on here. And this is Blue Service Pack 2 on there. And, um, I can always just have to see it that way. And finally, and this is a very, very, oh, there he goes. So there's a setup screen on here. Is this collecting information? Yeah, um, I can always worse to have to see it. And finally, you got to wait patiently. I guess it has to throw her this drive. Sometimes it always is hard to do right now because I was supposed to do this, this Windows XP drives. So right now, we just have to wait patiently. We're going to check this file right now. 
It takes about 39, 39 minutes. Ooh, we got the latest update information from this Microsoft website. Oh shit. I'll take some minutes to have to get this update information from Microsoft website. Let me wait for the bar to come up. Let it thank you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Give you a couple minutes. Ah, oh, there we go. See, it says install devices. I first I have to make sure that this thing is uh, the USB hard drive. So, two set of this I'm supposed to do it from Microsoft on the web. And, um, I can always says because I think they have to do it right now. <laughs> so let's do it. And which Windows XP Home Edition you get this user and file information? You can see it's that it takes about 36 minutes to go. Because this is just installing Windows. And you always says see that way because I'm gonna say well 35 minutes to go. Okay, I'm only going to check the user information and I'll be right back. Okay, we'll go ahead and type your computer name. How is it supposed to do it? We'll go ahead and type. Oh, what do you get? You get your capital letters on here. Like Toshi. Ba. PC. There we go. Caps lock off. So we got, let's do, uh, I'll put Mountain Time on. I'm gonna do it automatically, just undo it right now, okay? Try the easiest windows yet. I just have to make sure that this thing, uh, used with this Windows series, and uh, just uh, this thing, and, um, it's a little bit longer to go. I just see it. And then, we just have to make sure that this thing, I was just I was supposed to do it right now. I know you have to wait patiently right now. Um, this contains more than interesting. I'm gonna go ahead typical settings right now. Okay. We got 26 minutes to go. Okay, I'll continue when finishing your setup. So I'll be right back after these words for our one sponsor.